Hello friends, welcome back to this GCA channel ecosystem. Today we are going to talk about wireless waves of Nikola Tesla. How are we going to represent it? Let's try to make a radio work, a Galena radio. Many know it and others not. That works with the energy from the ether that it absorbs from the antenna. Now I'm going to explain to you how that energy comes through the ether how explained Nikola Tesla in his time and we are going to develop a small Galena radio and we are going to see it works and in that we are going to get the theory, the practice of what he was doing. Nikola Tesla in his times produced electromagnetic waves producing frequencies by alternative current. When I refer to frequency it is what short high voltage coils by reversing the current one time positive, one time negative. In this case, here I have draw the alternative current. And this is it, once positive. In other videos I have always talked about. It is positive and this is negative. I have always talked about the alternative current. In a Cartesian coordinate system, what is above is positive and what is below in the system is negative. And the wavelength, it is what is called lambda, which begins where the waves begins. Up to where ends up, that's called lambda. Why? What do I explain this to you? Now you will see. Tesla oscillates in a giant tower. High current voltage is transmitted varying the frequency that it's being some kind of connectors or mechanical keys and cut the current in a positive and negative form positive and negative in this way it produces on the tower about very high voltage bows and current that heat in dust into outside and thus learn fluorescent tubes light bulbs and things that we are going to see in the second video because this is the first part. We are always going to talk about how the electromagnetic energy through the ether or energy of the ether as they talk a lot. In this case, let we have an antenna, which is this, and this is the antenna that transmits frequency. So this is the antenna that is generating the energy, and this is the antenna that we want to receive the energy. Here I have two. This is an antenna, here it says that is the wavelength is this, and the other receiving antenna is going to be this, and it has to be exactly the same length. Why? Because a frequency in an antenna that is emitting waves of a certain magnitude at a certain frequency, it means that a certain cycle speed it has a length. For example, it is going to resonate in another one, it's exactly the same as one meter at a distance. The field magnetic is going to travel through the ether and it makes me vibrating this, so that we understand it easier. If I have a nylon string guitar, it doesn't matter, and I have another guitar goes nearby. And we play for example the fourth string and we see the other guitar is vibrating exactly to the same frequency, the fourth string. Why? Because there stay tuned, which means the length of a string is exactly equal to the length of the other. And the note that generates one, the other receives. When the frequencies where two antennas are at the same tuning, it is said that they are in tune. In those cases, there is a kind of transmission of one of a transmitting antenna to a receive one. In the case of the explain to the guitar, that is a sound wave. The one is vibration of the air. But in the case of the electromagnetic, which is what Tesla did to transmit the energy. One produce oscillation at the determinant with a certain height and receive at the distance the energy with a tuned antenna. In the modern circuits, 
enter into resonance, in this case, I also did Tesla before, with another circuit towards a coil, which is one of succession of return with a capacitor. This is called LC circuit, which is an inductance and a capacitor. This capacitor is just plate. I hear one. This is a condenser. They are plates that are one inside the other, but they don't touch. One is mobile and the other is permanent. Because as introducing one inside the other, the capacity change of the condenser. The condenser consists of two plates that go away, join or separate. In this case, which is a condenser from variable, it is very easy to explain, as is by introducing one plate in front of the other, increasing the capacity. Why am I explaining this to you? Because with this system, I can tune the antenna. It's essential to tune it, because if the antenna is not tuned, it will not be read when the frequency that I want to receive. Because, as I spoke, recent guitar string, it has to be, I said, I play the 4, the 4 string, the 4 is going to sound string, on the other guitar that is in the distance. It does not go to sounding neither the fifth. It sounds only the one inside from the frequency range. Because it generates a wave in movement of the air. And that movement moves the other string exactly to the same frequency if it is tuned. If I want the fifth string to sound with it one ring because it is out of frequency. With these condensers and the coil, I make the an antenna to the transmitter antenna. In this case, it is a radio galena that is going to receive the energy sent through the ether, as Nicolas said. It's going to receive it, has this antenna, because I'm going to tune to this coil and this capacitor. And I'm going to move it until it arrives in resonance. If I put the two cables exactly the same, will enter, but with this LC system, don't talk of this because it's another thing. Because this is something else, up to here we managed to get a station is tuned in. Why do I say the station? Because I go to Mega Radio that works simple with the electromagnetic wave that you're going to receive from the station. And now we are going to try it. This is a diode, rectifier or detector, because we already said that its wave is alternative. It's going to rectify it, and we are going to listen to where speakers, the tuning that we have recording to the position of this. If this were fixed, we'll, we will have a single station. But it is variable. We are going to track the frequency of we can make this antenna resonate. I already told you, it's going to resonate always in a single frequency, as if the guitar, if we tighten or loosen the pex box, it will change the tone. Now we are going to make a coil to make this coil. All that I explained to you, we are going to take it to the practice. Let's make a coil. Here I am going to put a wire. And we are going to tune it to a frequency of approximately 1000 kilohertz, which is the frequency of AM radios. In this case, I am going to do this and I'm going to put 130 turns. The number of turns will depend on the to the frequency that I want to tune. So I'm going to put 130 turns here when we connect the capacitor with a capacity of 400 picofarads. Suppose that I had a capacitor of another capacity. I have to turn 130 or more turns. In this way. I'm going to bound until to come to 20 turns. In this case, I show you how it is. When I get here, I'm going to put in this hole, and when the job is finished, I'm going to go ahead so as not to waste your time in the video. This is it. Now, I leave this one. 
and we continue with the coil. This is the coil which has 130 turns. I'm going to install it here on a plate because I already told you, let's go to the make it resonate. The antenna in a station so that the power station is enough to fit in the radio. Because we are generating electromagnetic energy through the distance towards Nikola Tesla in another function with another equipment much more sophisticated. No more sophisticated, actually more gigantic. These are the two ends of the coil. We are going to put the other one here. Now let's go to variable condenser, which is this. I'm going to put it here. The variable capacitor has two connections. One is the negative, which is the chassis, and the other, these are these two bibs that you have here. And I'm going to put them below, one in the chassis, and with the other, I'm going to tighten to the screw. This coil, I say, it has to go in parallel with the variable capacitor. Then we are going to put this cable, and this we are going to connect it here. I don't know if you are seeing this, I think so, the connection in parallel. This is going to come to the negative of the capacitor, and let's put on this end. After of this, we are going to go to the variable capacitor drawing circuit. We have done this. We have connected the bobin to the capacitor. One end is the chassis and the other end is plug in the other little screw. The only thing we have done is put in parallel the condenser with the coil. Now comes the detector. The detector was a stone that was manufactured, that it was lead sulfide. And how did they do it? They put lead and they threw sulfur and stir it, it was hot. And they produced a kind of crystal that was called Galena stone. That's why this radio is called Galena radio. They use in the war when there was no power, the same soldiers use it to listen to news. In the Second World War, to see for example how the war was going, because they are totally isolated and the only communication that they have this type of radio. Today, instead of melt lead and make the lead sulfate, that will be made in a little jar and then you have to go on punturing like this until find the point that makes the rectification. We get this, which is very small. I'm going to put very close to the camera so that you can see. This is called a detector diode. And this replaced today to the Galena stone. Why the name of the radio? Radio Galena. Well, you saw. Now I'm going to connect it. I connect it here in one of the pegs and in the other. I already put the Yorito here and at the other end we are going to put this cable of airphone. The earphone has switch must be of high impermanence. What do I mean? That the common headphone won't work because generally they are of low impermanence. But it is high impermanence headphone. And it works because I'm going to connect to the diode. Then I will explain to you how the circuit is. So it's connect at one end to the finger, like is stereo, I'm going to connect the two legs together. 
and the other end to this connector. I wrap it around the screw. Well, I connect the headset. It comes out because the cable is very thin and I can't bite it. Well, let's go to the blackboard circuit and then we are going to put this cable. I put the detector diode. This is this capacitor is not necessary to put it. So I'm going to delete it so you don't get confused. This is a condenser that filters the output a little more. Why? Because here comes the alternative current. The detector diode transforms in continuous because the headphones work as continuous. And the other end, the earphones, returns to the point of the coil here. Exactly as it is in this drawing. So we have this cable and I'm going to cut it here. No, it's already done. Here I have it. This one comes here. This it's go to here. This one comes here. Now yes. This on here. I'm going to screw this again because it is so tight that has come out. It has very tight cables. One of the end of the earphone comes here, and the other end of the earphone to the diode. And the Galena radio is done. Now we are going to put in operation for demonstrate the energy. The energy comes to end of the coil and the other end of the coil must be sent to ground. Here we are going to back to the blackboard. The current that takes to the antenna when it's turned has a tendency to go to the ground. So it's very important that it has a good ground mass to make this extreme very negative. While more negative be this negative to the end of the coil more amount of energy going to take the antenna. Why? Because it tends to go to the ground. With this we are going to tune the coil and we are going to do the current that pass through here. It will be exactly one descent by the station. In this case it is a radio station because in that way we check that it's going to work because it is on tuning. This is the detector diode it goes to earphones of anti parents and returns to ground. I make the circuit and I have two cables. This is the antenna and this is the ground. This ground one, which is brown, is connected to a water faucet, which is the same as if you will have buried a javelin, a metal cable or iron, very deep in a damp place. This is the negative. So the negative goes to one end of the coil. Here I am putting on one end of the coil. There you see. And the other end, which is this, is the antenna. This antenna approximately 20-25 meters long. And is placed on outside. Now in this moment I show you deep on this side. But I have it placed on a tower. This place it on the roof. It can be 25 or 30 meters long. This is essential that it be long because the energy that this cable takes, what is the other that take the cable, it's the energy that it's going to make it work. Well, now I'm going to connect it to the other end of the coil as it is in the circuit. It means the energy of the antenna comes to one end of the coil and the other end it's going to ground. I already told you, ground has to be important. I connect it to a water tap metallic because there are plastic. And if you don't have a good piece of ground, it won't work. It has to be a ground, for example a stick or javelin, a good ground to the earth in a wet place. Well, the disease should be running. I'm going to try to tune and listen it. The signal is very, very weak, but it can be heard. 
Well, there is this, see? Right now, I'm listening to the radio. It's tuned. If I move it, it changes from the station. I'm going to find the strongest. In this case, we are demonstrating the operation of the wireless power. The energy that comes from the transmitter, in this case, it comes by air. The coil is fitting. I have the antenna tuned and I take out the energy to move these earphones. Well, I am listening to the station, the station that I tune, and I'm not going to move it, so they can listen too. I'm tuning a station precisely because it is in frequency. The antenna with the coil and the capacitor. I am certifying the sign with this diode and powering the headphones. I'm going to put the earphone near the microphone for you and you can listen the station. There you should be listening to the station. There, that is it. You see, they are really listening to the station. Well, this energy is wireless. Is the energy that a station is transmitting is not free. It's energy that the station transmits, and I'm going to absorb to work this radio. Common radios, common radios have an amplifier. It receives this same energy, and then they reamplify using power from the line. This is the first part of the wireless energy of Nikola Tesla. We will go in to do another second part and we will talk about wireless transmission and we are going to light a spotlight with a little more of power because you can say, of course, it's a Galena radio. So this video has two functions to show there are an energy that comes through the other and make it go this radio and the other is show you how to make a radio Galena. It has these two functions, this video. So if you like, give me a like and I hope you on the next video.